Hello and welcome to another video with Bladderus. Here we are playing the Tennessee Titans. We will try this game again. I will go ahead and upload both of them, but um, just so that way you can see that I did actually win this last game. But for some reason it didn't save. And the weird thing is, is it's on the cloud, so it should have automatically saved. But like I said, for some reason it didn't save. Um, so. We'll see how this game goes. So if you watch the last one where I got the safety, that one does not, that one's not actually going to be on the record books where I won. Um, so we'll see how this game goes. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's the Titans going up against the Texans. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week three matchup. So that means Cordero Patterson will be back for the opening kick. Greg Zerline getting his team set as we're about to get underway here. All right, let's see how we can. And with that kick, we're underway. Harvin's going to test the coverage this time. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Davis taking the field now. This is his sixth season as a quarterback in the NFL. The Texans snap it up at the 26. Miller's tackled right at the 35. It's always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. Second down and one. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Hobbs in on the tackle. You got to know if you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short games. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. Another carry here. Miller's tackled down after a gain of five. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. He makes the catch. And that's a gain of maybe five. Here's the Texans' offense. They will be expecting far greater efficiency today. A week ago, they turned it over on three occasions. Second down and five. It's Miller. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Now, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Second and short following the run. The Titans defense now is going to go nickel. The give. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. First down and 10. He's going to get another carry. Miller's marked down at the 27. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. Back to the ground. And Brian Arakpo brings him down. Miller's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and 10. Back to him. 
the Texans get a first down. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? The Titans lined up in the nickel. First and goal. They feed it to him. Runs it across for the touchdown. That's a big way to get the momentum in your favor with that touchdown, Phil. Yeah, nothing like it. Midway through the first quarter, you're on top of the other team, and you just feel like, hey, we got things under control, and you're putting pressure on the opposition to go out there and try to make something happen. The Texans getting ready to kick it off. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled right. 28-yard line. Starting at quarterback for the Titans, the 2014 Heisman Trophy winner out of Oregon, Marcus Mariota. The Texans' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. First down at the 28. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Quarters formation here for the defense. Sankings handed the football. This is third down. up the first. Sankey is a great buddy back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Now first and ten. They're going to stay on the ground. Here's the Titans offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. It's Sankey in the backfield. The Titans snap it at the 41. Sankey's tackled right at the 42. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. And now here's the Texans' defense. They have to put some pressure on the quarterback this week, as last week they did not have a single sack. The Titans still driving as the second quarter gets underway. The Titans need to get to the 50 for a first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Going for the deep ball. What a catch. Walker's met at the 23. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. There's a flag out. the red zone it's Sankey in the backfield gets the handle here not able to get away from J.J. Watt Sankey's trying to be patient but there is nowhere to run that time and he only gets a short game the line of scrimmage is the 17 Second down and nine. Sankey's going to secure the handoff. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. Well, that's a mistake they'll be keen to capitalize on. A chance to up the lead here early in the second quarter. Yeah, huge mistake by the offense. You just don't expect it to go out there and just thumb 
fumble the football. Interceptions happen, but fumbles, you can prevent them by having good technique and putting two hands on that football. Second down and seven. Over to Witten with the reception. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. That's his first reception today. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. The Texans will take the snap from the 25. That's a gain of six. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Texans now move the chains. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times, but one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this, and pick up those first downs and keep it going. And Davis is three for three with that completion. Sorry about that. I got a Never phone call from my wife. That was a good turnover. They were kind of driving it, so we were able to turn it up, make them turn over, stop them from getting a touchdown or a field goal. Texans need to get to the 50 for a first down. Running room. There's a flag right there. If it was McKay, I, I, I literally saw that in front of me. Yep, I saw that. So it wasn't even a, a block that we needed. The Texans are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Miller's taking it on the screen. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. What a difficult spot to be in from here. The Titans were able to bulldoze their way down the field only to cough up the football the last time they were out here. It sure looked like they were going to put up some points. Yeah, the defense has got to feel lucky that time. They dodged the bullet just getting that fumble because they were getting moved on, pushed back. The offense was moving the ball great. The defense came up with a fumble. First and ten. And it's thrown over to Kendall Wright. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. Mariota's got it in the gun. Walker makes the grab. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. <laughs> Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. The Texans with a nickel look here on defense. Second down and 10. An open lane. Games 16. <laughs> Set up now at the 32. <laughs> Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 32. And there's Walker. Nice 
job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes, and you need to stop the clock. So he gets it done. The Titans line up in the pistol. Push them back five yards with the false start penalty. False start offense. After that penalty, it's now second and 14. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's shifting to their left. Mariota's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And he's taken down. The Titans are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. At the line of scrimmage, the 41. Quarters formation here for the defense. Mariota's standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Scans the field. And a flag is down. That's fine, he crossed the line. He's in for the touchdown, but rookie. There's a oh, he's not a rookie. Down. There's a flag away from the football. That's still a young man's mistake. Loss of down and loss of yards. Well, Philly scrambled around and then he moved past the line of scrimmage when he made that throw. You know, all you have to do, Jim. You, as long as some part of your body is at or behind the line of scrimmage when the football leaves your hand, that's legal. That time, easy to see quarterback way past the line of scrimmage. The Texans heading back out there on offense, hoping yeah, to we'll see what we can do with points on the board. Which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative. Get the defense off guard. Make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. The Texans are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Y'all want a touchdown. Y'all aren't even happy with a freaking with a field goal. Field. First down and ten. See, I am perfectly happy with a field goal because it at least puts me two, two, um, Second down coming up. two possessions up. Snap it out of the gun. Davis on the move. And he's going to slide feet first. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. Davis back in shotgun formation. He's scrambling now. And incomplete. Didn't get his feet down. Davis's mobility. Boy, gives him a chance to make a play, doesn't it, when you force him out of the pocket? But not able to complete the pass because nobody's open. Davis going to take it from the gun. Now on the move. Okay, well, I'm at least in field goal range now. So many times in practice and training camp, know what's going on in the offensive side, how to preserve time. Good job that time by the offensive player. Get out of bounds and give this team more chances to get it done here in the first half. The defense will take the penalty. The shitty thing is that knocks us out of field goal range. So now I gotta go to try to get us back in field goal range. First down at the 39. Miller's ready to run off the screen. They knocked him out right. of the line of scrimmage. The Texans call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. I wasn't trying to get a lot on that play, but I was trying to get a the little bit more than that. Time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Going to need a lot of leg on this field goal try. Son of a biscuit. No good. An empty trip for the offense. That'll do it for the second quarter here in the Music City. We'll be back to Nashville after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that 
studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. The Titans talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Two tight ends on the field here. Outside now on the toss. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up for coming up and making the tackle. Out of the shotgun formation. Going for the home run. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. And so far, the third quarter's been a carbon copy of what we saw in the first half. It's been a great effort by this defense, Phil. Yeah, they, they didn't change anything after halftime. They went in and said, everything we're doing is working, so why change? And we saw the results. Patterson's got it on the return. Sean Weatherspoon in on that last play. And a run back of about 12. The Texans take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. Miller's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Texans have it at the 44. Morgan takes it Face down mask. How do you think you brought him down so quick? Safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. He's now got 70-plus yards on the ground. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Texans from the 27. And Casey in on the tackle. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That's a great feeling. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. They'll run it here. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second down and seven. Handoff made. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. First down by the offense in the red zone, and, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. So first and goal to go. Gets takes it across and he's in for the touchdown. And they continue to take that game plan that worked so well in the first half and add to it here midway through the third quarter with another touchdown, Phil. So my answer is, what's the defense thinking? My gosh, the game plan didn't change on the offensive side, but you had no answers for it. Time to get on that sideline and figure out what you want to do. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Titans have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They are being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. First down at the 20. And it's 
it's complete to Kendall Wright. The Titans did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. It's a two tight end formation. Second down and two. Looking to go deep. Tough catch. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Mariota's completion percentage, 80% on the day. First and 10. Sankey's going to take the handoff now. <laughs> Setting up now at the 44-yard line. Second and ten. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's his fourth catch of the day. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. First down at the 32. And they were trying to go with the screen there, but nothing was available. Well, there's a phrase we have for quarterbacks to get a little nervous in the pocket. We call it cabin fever. I think that's what happened that time. He got a little nervous. The throw was way off the mark. Sankey lines up as the single back here. The Titan from the 32. Whitney Merciless, unmerciful to the quarterback. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. Loss of five on the play. The Titans lined up. Bunch formation. Third and forever. Easy catch there. No one near him. on their offensive play sheet. They don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. This play set up by the long gainer. Mukamara's there to make the tackle. Sankey's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Welcome back to the action on a day where defenses have ruled. Sankey's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Toss play. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. The Titans offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think Come on, defense. I need a good stop on third down. Loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Third and long. Sankey's got it on the handoff. I don't know why they would run it on third down like that. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring it down. got 10 yards. He definitely weren't going to get 20. three. Again, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending. They did not break. And all they did was give up a field goal. Patterson will test the coverage. Nice piece of running. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Texans take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? The Texans have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. 
Miller's been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving, and he is one tough running back to tackle. The play clock's running down. And the give to Lamar Miller. He's taken down at the 35. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go. So only gets a couple yards this time. The Texans will take the snap from the 35. Miller's tackle right at the 35. Third down now. The Texans need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. They better hurry to get the snap. Set up screen. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense, staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass, they make the tackle, and now we have fourth down coming up. Play clock's running down. That punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Titans are getting their offense geared up here. It's going to be interesting to see, Phil, how they react because I know there was a letdown the last time they had it. They kept the ball for a long time. They picked up a whole ton of yardage but ended up with only a field goal. So let's see how they'll react now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they were disappointed in the fact that they executed so many plays and ended up with a field goal. Let's see if they can come out and look for something a little more dynamic well, they don't have to have those long drives. Look for big plays instead. The Texans' defense now is going to go nickel. Mariota's got it in the gun. Walker's got the catch and the first. That's reception number four for him. The Titans have had a big target in the middle of the field today. Walker's been a dynamic playmaker throughout this game, Phil. We are seeing tight ends become such a big part of NFL offenses. There's so much you can do with them. Line them up on the line of scrimmage. You can move them all around. You can stack them behind other offensive players. What a day for the tight end today. This will be second down. Mariota's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the reception. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Mariota's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Brings it in. When you see the defensive back on the inside of a wide receiver, you have a corner route on, make sure you throw it towards the sideline, let the wide receiver outrun the defensive back, and he makes a nice catch there. First down at the 21. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. The Titans will approach this play from out of the pistol. But the collision jarred it loose. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Third and ten. Delaney Walker has the catch. That picks up seven. I think that's playing it pretty safe, throwing that short pass on third and long. I thought he had a chance to throw it down the field, 
he just couldn't pull the trigger and let it go. And converts on the three. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points. But they're not going they for an onside kick. Wow. They must be and no figuring their defense can romp me. You see the matchup at running back. And while only one side has really been able to count on that run game, it's still a very close game. Yeah, it is, Jim. Close game here. And also, that can happen when you talk about That's why Lamar so Miller wants his 100 down. yards. And if so you're having trouble it. running the football, then change the direction of your offense. Do something else. The clocks really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. I will take it down two minutes. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Loss of a couple that time. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Back now following the two-minute warning. The offense wants to just hold on to the lead to the end. Second down and 12. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. And picks up maybe three or four. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. None of my guys block for a freaking screen this game. Like, I've never seen my guys do such a pathetic blocks for screens. Hecker is back now. He'll be punting. We'll see what he can do here. Get a first down. Or be able to run out as much freaking clock as possible. Trying to find an opening to the right. He'll pick up seven this time. He's now past the hundred yard mark on the day. Jim, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well and just keep running it. Third and four. They call his name again. Good job that time by the defense. They're down. It's in the fourth quarter. They are expecting the offense to run the football, and they stop it for a couple yards. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. That's the game, guys. This Hope y'all enjoyed. Leave me a like and a subscribe, today. and I'll see Not you next one. Going on, but doesn't matter. It's a W. Yeah, it sure is. Hey, listen, that was fun to watch. When you see a low-scoring game.